You're going to take my husband's spare bedroom home office and turn it into an amazing work from home space as well as a man cave for him. Let's get going. Well, if you love to live an upscale lifestyle on a downsized budget, I am here for you at Skip to My Life. We're going to start by using this peel and stick wallpaper from Dollar Tree to create a video backdrop for my husband's home office. Now I first started by taking down this really plain board that he had in back of him and I actually found this large framed print on the curb after someone had had a garage sale and they were just getting rid of things. It was quite a substantial piece of art and I really didn't feel like taking the whole thing apart. So I'm going to clean it off really, really well to start. Next, I'm just applying this peel and stick wallpaper. Now they have many different styles of this wallpaper as I will show you here. And I have used it in my home office project to cover a file box as well as a bookshelf makeover. I love it. I'd worked with it before and I knew it would be perfect to create this video backdrop. At just $1.25 a sheet, you really cannot beat this peel and stick vinyl wallpaper for all kinds of projects. I started just by matching up that herringbone pattern and placing it right on top of the glass of this frame. Now I could have taken it apart and it would have been a lot lighter. It was pretty heavy with this piece of glass, but I knew that it would work for this project. And to be honest with you, I was in a hurry because I wanted to surprise my husband with this reveal and I didn't want it to take a long time. So I was looking for ways to kind of cut time off and this is one way that I did that. After I had stuck on the peel and stick wallpaper, I simply went around and cut off the edges. So this is a little preview of the before. He had some curtains that he said people teased him look like prison stripes when he was on a Zoom call. He just had a very plain Jane effect in this room. It was not motivating for him to work. My husband is not a theme type person, so I was really stumped on how to style this room, but he loves all things history and geography. So once I kind of got going on this video background, it really set the theme for this room for me. Dollar Tree also carries wall decals in this world map vintage looking wall decal was one of those. So once I had stuck that on the front, I wanted the effect of time clocks in all different time zones. And I started by just cutting out 10 circles from some Dollar Tree poster board. To make a frame for each of those clocks, I drew a concentric circle frame around the outside and just painted that in with black chalk paint. After I had painted those frames with chalk paint, I decided I wanted a little bit of shine, so I covered them with some clear varnish. For the hands of those 10 clocks, I am using toothpicks, and I started by spray painting those black. I actually learned a lot doing this project about what time zones different cities in the world are. And you could use this on a much smaller scale in many different rooms of your house. I wanted all the minute hands to point straight up because the reference point was 12 o'clock. And then I was ready to place the hour hands according to the city that that clock went with. Next, I'm placing a black adhesive jewel just in the middle there, and you will see why in just a second. But if you're new to Skip to My Life, welcome. I am so glad we found each other. If you are finding some great ideas, please let me know by clicking that like thumbs up button. Next, I'll cut out each of the names of these cities, and these are just ones that I typed out on my computer in an old typewriter font, and I'm gonna mount those on some black construction paper and then attach them to the appropriate clock. If you've been around Skip to My Life a while, welcome back. I read each and every one of your comments and you all have been so encouraging. Thank you so much for your support on this journey that I am on. And you know my story, my husband and I have downsized about two years ago from a six bedroom McMansion to a tiny three bedroom love cottage rental once our kids were grown and flown. So this was a project that I have had on my heart for a long time and it was finally 
the right timing for me to do this for my husband. So I told you I would let you know why I was attaching that little black jewel and it was because I wanted to put a clear face on that clock just so that those little hands would not get caught on anything. And I did that by cutting out a circle from a report cover. Next, I changed the vertical orientation on the back of that picture to a horizontal. I just used the same hardware and stretched it the opposite way. And voila, you have the finished project. Well, not only is this my husband's home office, but it's also his man cave. So we're gonna use some jars from Dollar Tree, as well as some cookies and snacks and set up a really nice little snack station for him. I'm using two different kinds of glass jars. The one tips over to look kind of like a candy shop. The other has a very tight lid on it. And you'll see why that's important in just a minute. So he's not much of a sweets fan. He's more of a salty fan, but he does like a couple different sweets and cookies. And I just wanted to make sure he had enough in there to get him going on his little munching journey. And so I saved the cookies for the ones with the airtight lid. And I think that they will stay fresh a long time. We purchased this cubby hole shelf at Target at the end of the season. It was $3 and change for each of those, so uh, about $7 for the whole shelf. I just styled that with some signs and some things that I thought he would enjoy. Next, I wanted to create a focal point over the TV itself. So I removed this clock that had seen better days. And we're gonna create a really simple, effective photo wall with frames from Dollar Tree. Now, the first step is I am kind of highlighting where I want things to hang by just putting eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper down. It is really important to do this step. It will save you a lot of time. And then next to save money on command strips, I am just cutting those in half and I am gluing some old command strips that don't have any adhesive to the backs of these photo frames and then I'm going to use the new command strips that I just bought with the adhesive. I'm going to use those for the wall because I don't really care so much whether they come off the frames. I do care if they come off the wall. So that's a tip to make that command strip last a little longer if you have some that you're trying to repurpose. Next, I gave this area a really good cleaning and I found a little friend that I had not seen for a while. So these are all black and white prints from online. I just Googled black and white images and printed them out on my home computer. Very, very simple, but he actually really loved it. These are all scenes of nature and they go together beautifully. Last, we're going to take care of these ugly striped curtains and we're going to do that by using something you may not expect from Dollar Tree and that is these plastic softballs. Now these come three in a pack and we're only going to need two so it's a really good value. I cut a PVC pipe the size that I needed to make the curtain rod for that window. Then I used an X-Acto knife to cut a hole in each of two of the softballs. They're gonna fit over the end of that curtain rod. And I spray painted both the PVC pipe and both of these softballs the same color to match each other. Now I'm gluing some jute twine around those balls and it did take me a minute to get my rhythm on this, but after you get going, I do recommend that you wear something to protect your fingers because I am securing it here with a hot glue gun. I also made that opening just a little bit too wide, so I'm gonna take care of that by covering some of that with a jute twine. But these are gonna fit over the ends of that PVC pipe and they're going to create high-end finials for that curtain. And this is a huge savings from curtain rods and finials you will find at any store. And I think they look just as wonderful. Now I'm gonna finish off the finials with some rope around that opening just to make sure it fits very snugly and securely to that curtain rod. And here's another designer hack. When you hang curtains, you do not have to go just around that window. You can use this curtain as an optical illusion to make the window look centered over the couch. 
as you can see when the curtains pulled back it is totally off center but once we pull the curtain toward each other you can never tell it looks like it's totally centered over that couch so don't feel limited by where your window is placed on the wall you can actually create a centered window in any room Here is our sad little before home office and man cave. And I am so happy that I was able to give this gift to my husband. This is actually part one in a two part makeover. We are going to be doing some more things in this room as well. So make sure you stay tuned. And you may have noticed that Bella, my long hair dachshund, is making some appearances in this video to say hi to some of the fur babies on my list. So if you want Bella to give your fur baby a shout out, just drop their name in the comment box below. Also, comment below and let me know, do you prefer sweets like I do or salty like my husband does? overflowing crafts and DIY projects in an area of your home. I'm going to show you a bonus tip on how to restore that area to order. You'll just want to click on this video and go to that next tip. And until we see each other next time, please don't forget today is not the end of your story. So don't you give up. Keep going.